Hello folks, welcome to Duenetic channel. Today we are going to have a quick uh, demo and introduction to strapi.io or strapi.js. It is a Node.js content management system or CMS and also it's called headless, uh, which means you can build your backend, full backend API and admin side and uh, you will not have a front end or a client side. So it will provide you with an API you can build and customize your uh, client side in your preferred way for example you can use any one of the javascript library for example react or you can just uh, write uh, dummy javascript uh, with html and css and so let's start directly and see what is this strapi actually and what it will do for us and what help us to do basically for example here if you come to the browser and try just search for strapi.io you will find the first uh, uh, result in the search and then you can come to this, this is the main page where it will give you some uh, simple documentation and steps here to follow basically you can start write your very first uh, strapi uh, admin site by just copying this uh, link but before copy that link it will require you to have node.js installed in your local machine and then that it and then need to start from that uh, point so now if you go to our terminal here you need to open your terminal and try navigate to a proper place that usually you'll do or clone your project and here we are going to just uh, control paste or command paste uh, the link that we copied and this basically a script will allow us to run uh, a project or admin site for strapi.io and here I'm going to change the default project name to whatever your preferred name I'm going to call it just CMS or content management system and then hit enter and this will take uh, so basically to this next step and will give you two options uh, to select uh, recommended one or you can do some manual customization so here I will just select the recommended one and then we'll start just to do all the steps and to, to, to install some node modules and this takes some time I'll be back after just this finish So now this uh, successfully finished to install dependencies. So after installing uh, all uh, required dependencies, then it will run automatically the project for you and it will navigate to the, your default browser. And with this uh, landing page here, will require you to create your uh, admin user or your admin root user. For example, in this scenario, just I'm going to call it Mo and then Duina and the, then well, your email i'm going to just use this fake email this gmail uh, dot com and then password and also it has to include at least one number and also one capital and a small letters and confirm that and then hit let's start so this will take you directly to this page here where you can just press ok to ignore this and if you need to save it you can save the password uh, I will take you to this welcoming page and then we are interested on these five or six different pages. So first one here, content manager, and this is where you can visualize the uh, uh, collections or uh, this in a schemaless data uh, database uh, like MongoDB and other uh, database. So basically using collection, but for example, if using uh, like uh, SQL then you'll be uh, sim in this situation will be tables so in this scenario it's going to be where you will have list of collection will be displayed here and you can add uh, new entities for example we have already by default created this user this is the user just we created and then here uh, content type uh, builder this is where we can start write our collection uh, as you see here first option to create a collection and second option here uh, single types so for example this for your home page or landing page so basically it would be just one static page that uh, in this scenario you will create it from this option and component and this something can be reusable in different pages for example if you have a section that used like in contact page home page about page then 
you would create the component and then reuse it in different pages. But in our scenario, we are going to use the collection mostly, and because that will include a relation with a different collection. And I'm going to also show you this step by step how to do this. And media library sits here where if we uploaded any files, images, we can access them here visually. And plugin, this will show you the plugins that you installed. Uh, marketplace this is a marketplace basically you can uh, install some libraries here to uh, make them work in your project and compatible to you with your admin site there is a lot of libraries here you can pick from in the future we're going to talk about them and even you can build your own and try add it to marketplace wherever if you're interested to make that uh, a free uh, library or a uh, bit one and next last one uh, settings which is which is the most important one and we are going to work a lot around this so basically the first step just a quick overview and next one api tokens is just to have a token in the future for example if you need to add any token to your client uh, api to be to just protect your api and here internationalizations for example this is just to translate for different languages but for now default one to english and media library just sitting for the media for files and images and here just web hooks for if you have any hooks or notification things will be uh, added to this section and administration uh, panel here where you can uh, control the rules and users and also you have uh, this section here mail plugin this is where you have your uh, mail uh, or email uh, configuration for example if you need to add any like sending and receiving emails to your projects and last here section which also we are going to use a lot uh, uh, users uh, permission plugin where we have for to control for rules and also provider email template and advanced other advanced settings let's create first type here basically we are going to select a new collection type for example let's just create a, a, a category collection and let's call it category and when you type here by default will change the id to singular and uh, this uh, plural one also with plural categories and you have this tab here if you need to add some more uh, advanced uh, uh, settings you can add it from here but i'm going to do only the basic and default one and just hit continue and now you need to add if you need to add uh, some key to this category the category basically will be just empty object and then if you need to add anything inside would be for example title and then the title setting by default you can uh, select the type of the title for example a short text or a long text in long text will be something for a description uh, but for a title i would prefer just go to short text and then you can go to advanced setting and you can make it required and also you can set if it is unique or other option and also you can add maximum links and minimum links and where if it's private field or not i'm going to just select this uh, required field and then hit finish and that is so we created our first uh, collection and where we can visualize and access this collection basically by going to this content manager but before that we need to save this so then we can access it on the content manager and this may take a bit of second now if we go to content manager so now we see category and we see users user user uh, this created by default and if we need to add a new category entity just we can press this create new entity and then here you can add your category name for example let's just call it games and then hit save and publish so that saved and published and now we can add more than category so we can add another category for example another category just call it clauses and then save publish and now we have two categories if we go back so we have now these two categories we see them here but if we need to access these categories on for example api and then try to create a client side for this uh, will not be will not by default you will not access this data basically if you need to access it you need to go to this uh, base url then categories then hit enter so we'll give you this uh, 403 or, or forbidden basically you don't have access to this so how you can get access by go to the settings and then go to rules and go to public 
and then you will select the which endpoint that you need to change the setting for example for we need to change it for category uh, for find and find one and then hit save and now after saving this and we can come and try again hit enter now we can see our data coming through this is our data that just the new categories that we the collection we created and we added entities and we have data now here we can use this data for the client side and we have ready made uh, admin side and also with a very nice friendly ui and now we can also do very quick on the code base that we just created if we stop this here we do just control c and then cd cms and then let's open this on vs code and just open this full screen here so this is a project will be created for us and where you have this source and inside the source you will have admin and you'll really have your api and this is just the category that we created and we'll give you more uh, controller routes and services just like a uh, node uh, app or node server so basically this is a very quick demo about how to create a Strapi admin side and also we created our, our very first uh, API and uh, in the next tutorial we are going to learn more about Strapi.js we can create uh, more more things and for example full application from front end and back end and also do some deploy to production and so if you didn't subscribe try subscribe to the channel so you can get all videos and notifications and thank you for watching and see you in very next tutorial